Yes, this is my second cup of coffee today. Hey everyone, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, hello. I hope you'll stick around. So subscribe to this channel for more videos and give this one a thumbs up if you enjoy it. Don't forget to turn on the bell notification symbol so you get notified when I upload. Being a subscriber is not enough. Sometimes you won't see my video uploads. I don't know why YouTube did that, but they did. So turn on the bell and help me out. If you're not following me on social medias, you might want to. I do all of my vape stuff giveaways over there. I also do some on Patreon, but that's more more of like a join my Patreon at a certain level, get monthly rewards sent to you, vape related, so e-liquid mods, etc. every month from me to you. That link will be below as well. I chat with you guys on Twitter every day and I post the Instagram story all day long. So if you wanna get a sneak peek into my personal life, that's where you can check it out. Or you can go to my other channel, my life channel, at home with Tia. I'll link it below and that's where I do all my non-vape related videos. So my other interests and hobbies that I bring to the internet land, you can check it out. I'm almost to 10,000 subscribers on that channel, so if you can subscribe, that would really help me out. I would super appreciate that. You can check the description box below for everything you might want to know, and there are some coupon codes down there too. So let's get right into the video. Today I have the Inakin Z Bip. I don't understand the name, but okay, we're gonna do it. I got the blue one. It does come in a bunch of different colors. You just slide this out and then you open this up. On this side is the device, on this side is the accessories. So I'll go ahead and pop out this little box and I'll show you what comes in this one first. We have a little overview package, an extra coil and O-ring, a micro USB to USB cable, and this little envelope full of more paperwork, the full warnings and safety booklet, the warranty card with some scan codes on the back, and a battery care guide. On the other side of the package, we have the actual device. Oh, with a little card on the front and another scan code. This says, we created this product for those that enjoy MTL style of vaping, as well as those looking to transition to vaping with ease. We hope you enjoy it as much as we do. Thank you, Hart, Phil Basarda, and Demetrius. I'm not going to try to pronounce the last name because they just can't, but everyone knows them as the vape in Greek. Also, that is blue, and then at different angles, it's also purple. Ooh, cute. Comes with a fill bottle. This is actually bigger and like more heavy duty than I thought it was going to be compared to like the picture. I'm like, whoa, this is solid. So, it does have the pod, which, whoa, that's a big freaking pod. Remove that. Here are the connections. When you connect it, it beeps, but you can also turn that function on and off. There is a little on off for the sound. On the side, there is a large firing button. On this side, it is not a firing button. On the back, we do have the micro USB port, a viewing window, little etched up here. We have an indicator light here. These are indicator lights for charging the battery. Three clicks turns it on and you can see the little flash. The internal rechargeable battery is 1500 milliamp hours and this indicates power level. So it does blue, red, or green. Red is 16 watts, green is 14 watts, and blue is 11 watts. To change the coil or prepare it for vaping, you take the pod off, you turn it upside down, this is the airflow. You take the airflow base off and you can pull out the coil like so. This is the 0.48 ohm Z coil. I do already have <clears throat> my flavor Cloud Kiss prepared into a needle nose bottle for just such occasions. And it is 70% vegetable glycerin, 30% propylene glycol blend available in 100 ml bottles at usvapeco.com, available in 0, 3, 6, and 12 milligrams. Nicotine, use my code TIA20 for 20% off Cloud Kiss at usvapeco.com or any flavor you can use that. But I'm gonna go ahead and prime the coil by putting a little bit of e-liquid in the juice flow holes. I'm gonna go ahead and put that back in and screw the airflow base back on. Here's a close up of the airflow base. There are three holes. You can have all of them open, one, two, or closed, but I don't recommend doing closed. To fill it, take the dust cover off. You can spin the mouthpiece over and you fill in there. Just get the needle nose past those little flappity flaps. All right, got some e-liquid in there. Close that back up. I'm gonna give this time to wake up. I'm gonna put it back on. And you got the beep. And the indicator lights will be on when it's charging and turn off when it's fully charged. So to change the power level, the device needs to be off, which mine is. You hold the fire button here on the side 
and this will light up your power level blue green or red we're gonna do red because that's the highest that's 16 watts so once the color matches the power level you have just let go of the fire button and when the battery gets below 50% it will do two beeps so it's kind of handy to have the sound on and power below 20% will do three beeps other than that it's just push to vape I think this is the largest, heaviest pod setup that I have ever tried. Check out all my other ones. And it specifically says MTL, so I don't even think I want to try to direct to lung this because that's not what it's for. But I also want to see like how big of a cloud I can get. <laughs> Clouds, bitch. I just direct lung inhaled. <laughs> and this indicator light does light up the color of which you're vaping at. Yeah, great if you want mouth to lung. It's pretty big and it's like hefty. It's like sturdy. It's like not cheaply made. I'd love to know the story behind the Z Bip name though. And you know, your girl is a fan of dust covers. I mean, like, for size reference, you know? Definitely the biggest pod. All right, there you go. I'm, I'm hoping you're, can you see, like, seriously, if you look at it from this angle, it looks purple. I don't know how to make you guys see what I'm seeing. It's so cool. Can you see it? You can't, you just have to have it in real life. I will try to find a website where these are available, but if all else fails, you can check directvapor.com. That's D-I-R-E-C-T-V-A-P-O-R.com. Let me know down in the comments below what you guys think. I'd love to hear from you, what your thoughts are on this. That's it for the video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Fight for your right to vape. So as always, I'm Tia, and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.